Imagine you're a video creator, you're on a walk and you get ideas for like the shots or you just like work in business and just kind of go out on walks and that's where you get the best ideas. With this workflow, you just record your voice notes and this workflow will automatically make sense of all the voice notes that you're recording and it will automatically add the structured data to your Notion board, to your Trello board, whichever project management software you use. So let me show you how to build this workflow without any coding in like five minutes. To get started, we're gonna create a new Zapier automation. So if you're not familiar with Zapier, you just create a new Zapier account and then you create and use Zap. Zap is basically an automated workflow within Zapier platform. So we're gonna use a trigger. Trigger is something that's gonna trigger the automation. So in this case, we're gonna use a new submission in job form. And job form is like basically like a form platform, like Google Forms, but it has a lot more functionality like adding a voice note. So we create a job form and in job form, we create a new form with just like the voice notes as the widget. So we can record our voice notes. And here with the new submission as a trigger. So as soon as a new voice note is created in the job form, it's gonna trigger automation. For job form, we're gonna connect our job form account and for the trigger we're going to select the form we want to use for this automation and then test to make sure it's actually paying up the right form so once we have our job form connected with the voice note our next step is going to be using openai's transcript function so here we're going to connect the app openai and for the event we're going to pick create transcription so that way our voice note is going to get created into a transcription automatically after connecting your openai account for the action this is where we're going to add the voice note file from job form here so it can take the file and turn this into a voice note that's pretty much it for this step you can leave everything as is you know response format is, is going to be text and we're going to test the step to make sure our voice note is being translated into a transcription automatically so now we have our voice note and the voice note is being sent to openai to create a transcription and our next step is now going to make sense of the data so here we're going to use chat gpt as our next step and we're going to use event as extract structured data again we're going to connect the account and then for the action we're going to have our unstructured text as the transcription we got from step two we're going to pick one of the models from chat gpt or you can pick one of the latest ones for oh, even 3.5 turbo is probably going to be fine for a lot of the stuff if you think your task is going to be a bit more complex maybe use 4 turbo because that's like the best model that openai has for all the ai work you don't have to worry about temperature and for description we just kind of like write a simple prompt here just telling ai like what it's supposed to do for example here we're just going to say like your data parser and a video production assistant i will share the transcription of my voice notes can you please take the voice note and categorize my notes into a script idea shot ideas transition ideas etc here we're just assuming an example of like a, you know someone who does a lot of video content like you do a lot of ideas for that and they just want to like record their voice notes and like have their video scripts and like stuff in their to-do list into their project management software so this is all simple and this is where like the magic starts to happen so under values to extract this is where we're going to define like what do we actually want to extract from our voice notes for example for a video creator what might be relevant to them is like script ideas shot ideas transition ideas video title and due date if applicable you can just list out pretty much however many values you want to extract like for example have like five over here and then as you scroll further down you can like then sort of describe what do you mean by those values this is to make sure that ai doesn't make mistakes so when you do like you know when you say script ideas we just want to define to ai like what do you mean by script ideas think about it as like you know working with an intern where like when you give them instructions or tasks to do you sort of like give them a bit more context that what do you mean by this because like you know maybe they're working somewhere else or they don't have their background they might not know what you mean if we scroll further down for each one of those values to extract we're going to have like a field where we can just add description so just make sure you add this description if you think it's not obvious enough and then we're just going to test a step to make sure how well the ai is being able to recognize all the data that we're providing through a voice note so if the test is good now we're going to continue to the next step which in this case is going to be trello so we're going to connect trello as the application and our event is going to be create a new card this could be notion this could be you know like your notes app like literally whatever you think where you want your ideas to then go into so you can you know work on them further you can connect one of those applications so for trello we're going to connect the account and for the action we just kind of like you know pick the board that i have for trello we're gonna pick the list so you know for any new ideas it's gonna go into to-do list and then for the name we're gonna extract the value we're getting from step three likewise for the description i'm just saying like script ideas then like value from step three a shot ideas value from step three then transition ideas again like the data we're extracting in step three and that's pretty much it like once we're gonna test to make sure everything is working and then next time you're on a walk and you just turn on your voice recorder to draw form or like any other form application you want to use in the automation and then you just take your voice notes and once you're home like after your walk you're gonna go to your project management software and you're gonna have your ideas being listed in the way you want them to be and it's all gonna be done automatically so you're like while you're there just taking your ideas and notes yeah it's gonna do everything behind the scenes to get everything sorted for you automatically that's pretty much it that's a tutorial so we basically turn our voice notes into well-structured data into a project management software automatically simple right so i highly encourage you to try this out i mean it would probably take you like 10 minutes to build out this automation and see how much time it saves you and how
how much more productive you're gonna be from now on. Please let us know if you have any questions um, and we'll see you in the next videos.